Look at the camera. Look. Hey. <laughs> you doing that mouth again? Where's your lips? Let me. Okay, there we go. What's going down? What's going down? Hey. <laughs> what? What are you saying? Huh? Welcome back to my channel for those that are new. This is baby blessed. This is my little baby If you don't fix your mouth child <laughs> This is his four month update He is officially four months and as you can see this little mouth thing is like something really new where he's hiding his lips He's like this Like a grandpa you like a grandpa you want to hide your lips like a grandpa so he's hiding his lips and it's like a new thing that he's learned how to do and he just won't stop doing it. And it's super funny, look. <laughs> you look funny! You look like you, you, like you really ain't got no teeth. I mean, you really don't got no teeth, but you don't look like they're coming either. Yeah. What you saying? Uh-huh. I have like a whole list of things that I've like put in my notes. So if you see me looking at my phone, it's because I have notes and I didn't want to miss anything. So I decided to like write some notes. Be oh. Oh my god, did I just delete something? I feel like I No, I didn't. Yeah, so I have notes and I'll be, you know, looking at these notes as I'm talking to you guys and letting you know, you know, what's been going on with his four, in his four months, what has he been doing? He cannot stop doing the pop-pop look. Look at his cute outfit, y'all. Isn't this cute? It's like a cute little sweater and it has like some pants to match. He looks so cute! You look so cute! You look so cute! First, we're gonna talk about his sleeping schedule. Um, right now, he is only waking up once throughout the night and he's only waking up at five in the morning. Um, yes, you're waking up once. Thank the Lord, I can sleep. We can get some sleep throughout the night. So he's only waking up one time and I literally keep his bottles on the nightstand, you know, on the side of the bed. This man drinks a lot. Like literally, he's drinking eight ounces like full now. Like he needs an eight ounce bottle. We don't even use our four ounce bottles anymore. I can't give him a six ounce bottle because he'll still be hungry. So he's drinking eight ounces like the whole eight ounce bottle this man is drinking it now let me tell you guys something that was super crazy this man on multiple occasions has slept throughout the whole entire night like did not wake up until you know eight o'clock the next day like eight o'clock the next morning and when it first happened, it scared me because I was confused. Because, you know, you're used to your child, you know, waking up at a certain time. And now that his schedule has been the same, like only waking up at 5, like it's been the same for quite some time now. So when he didn't wake up that very first time, my body naturally woke up because I'm so used to waking up at that time. So my body naturally woke up and like I keep his bassinet next to my bed because um, I don't allow him to sleep with me and I'm scared for him to sleep in another room. Um, I'm just super over overprotective and since he does wake up throughout the night, it doesn't make sense to put him in another room. So anyway, um, his bassinet, bassinet, you know, is on the side of my bed at night and... I just woke up like at 5 in the morning normally when he wakes up and I'm looking around I'm like this little boy is like sleep so I go and I put my ear um I put my ear on his like chest to see if he's breathing you know I'm like checking him making making sure he's okay because I was confused I'm like like he's sleeping this is weird but yeah so the first time he did it I was just like a little shocked and I was scared but he was okay he just slept throughout the night and he has done it multiple times but it's not an everyday thing you know it's just 
you know sometimes he does it and you know other times he don't so that's kind of cool so we're getting into that stage where you know he's probably going to well not probably but he's getting to that stage where you know he's gonna sleep throughout the entire night so that's awesome because then I can really get some sleep right now as for eating um he doesn't eat well he doesn't drink as many bottles as he used to like in his newborn stages i feel like i was making like a hundred bottles a day but now that has slimmed down a lot like i don't even maybe about four or five bottles maybe let me say five maybe five I don't don't quote me on that but I just know I'm not making that many bottles and plus he's getting a bigger serving anyway so you know it lasts longer versus when he was only drinking two ounces or four ounces you know it was every hour every two hours so now that he's drinking eight ounces you know that lasts him you know a longer time so I don't have to make as many bottles uh what's another thing oh and we're putting now we're putting like cereal you know, like we're mixing the cereal and the formula together um as well as sometimes we well we just got oatmeal now that he's four months so that also you know fills him up even more now that he's four months he's tried you know the first stage baby food you know like the little baby soup food that comes in the can um we tried the earth best one because that's the formula that he's on he's on earth best it's like an organic formula so we tried the earth best first stage for babies since he's four months and he tried they only had two at the grocery store that we go to they had like the same kind so we only got two um and so, and we got peas and we got sweet potato and he loved them both like really loved them um <laughs> And he got so angry when I was trying to feed it to him because he's so independent. So, like, he likes to feed himself. He wants to feed himself. He wants to hold a spoon. You know, he wants to, you know, dip it on the plate. You know, scoop it up, put it in his mouth. He wants to do everything by himself. He's feeding himself with a spoon. He's holding his own bottle. Like, he's just super independent. Only four months. It's blowing my mind. We're also letting him try, you know, fruit, fruits and vegetables, um, you know, because he's in that four month stage where he can, you know, start trying foods and eating real food. So we've been letting him try a bunch of different things. Um, he I feel like he had allergic reaction to something. Um, but I'm not going to discuss that in this video. I'll make another video and show you guys everything and let you guys you know, like see his skin and what happened and blah, blah, blah. Um, and we have, thank you guys for the last video when I asked you to, you know, um, let me know what teethers I should get. Someone left a comment about the teethers that has like the fruit, let you put the fruit in the inside and you can like chew on it. So... That's um, the teether that he's been using and he loves it. Like you just put like fruit or vegetables in the inside of the teether and the ba baby can literally just like chew on the teether and suck the juices out. So that is amazing. He loves it. Let's talk about this new face that he's making. He's making this little new face, right Bless? It's a grandpa face and he keeps making it where he goes like this. And then he just laughs and he's like, <laughs> so it's really funny. <laughs> he's here laughing at me now. <laughs> Look, you gonna show him the grandpa face? He's doing the grandpa face and it's so funny. And it just looks even more funny because he doesn't have any teeth. So it's literally just like so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. he's 
blowing spit bubbles. And basically he just mimics you and he does it and he's blowing the spit, he's making the noise and it's just so funny. He has a walker, uh, he really enjoys the walker. Um, so it has like a bunch, we got it from Target, it was like less than 100 bucks, it was like I think like 80 or 90. Um, and it has like a bunch of toys around it and I put him in it at least twice throughout the day. Um, you know, first in the morning and then I do it, you know, at night and he plays with the toys and, you know, he has fun. So it's really interesting to watch just to see him play with stuff. And at first when we put him in it and like the toys make noise, like he was kind of scared of the noise. So like every time it would make a noise, his, he would blink his eyes like and jump back and be like, because he's so shocked. So that's another thing that we're doing we're just trying to you know get him used to different sounds and smells and you know just because he's new to the world he's still experiencing so a lot of things are going to be a shock to him but now the noise doesn't bother him at all and you know he's used to it and he likes it hey hey What's up? What's up? Yeah. What's up, man? Yeah. 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 Hey. Hey. He loves to watch um, Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that show, but it's like, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Would you be mine? Could you be mine? Won't you be my neighbor? Um, I actually love this show. It's sickening because they have a song for everything they do on the show, and I find myself singing the songs throughout the day. Um, it's very catchy. It's a good show. Um, it teaches your kid, you know, how to behave. Um, I did catch one episode that I did not agree with, I did not like, so I had to hurry up and turn that episode off. And normally what I do is I will watch the episodes before I let him watch them because I don't want to, you know, expose my kid to something that I, I just feel like he's not ready for yet. Um, and that's another video I'll make. I'll make a whole another video on that topic about how I don't agree with certain things that are being put on television, especially in these kid TV shows, what you're trying to, what, you know, society is trying to promote and make okay. That's not okay. But we'll talk about that in another video. Um, anywho, on one of the episodes, um, that I caught and I had to like, uh-uh, X that out is... Um, so Daniel Tiger, something happened where he was upset, um, he was mad about something, and basically they were teaching the kids to, when you get upset, stump your feet three times to make yourself feel better. Absolutely not. So technically you're telling my child to have a temper tantrum and stump his feet three times and, you know, have a little fit because he's not getting his way that is not okay that's something that i'm not going to be promoting especially not in my household if you don't get your way you're not going to stump your feet three times that's not what we're doing so i didn't like that episode that was the only episode that i felt wasn't promoting something that i agree with but you know everybody's different you might like that you might you be okay with your kids stumping three times when when you tell them no but i'm not okay with that so i didn't like that but all, all the other episodes that we've watched, I love them. Um, so that was the only one. 
other than that, I feel like it's a great show, you know? Okay, another thing. This child is very nosy. And I can't really call it nosy because he's just very aware. You know, he's new to the world. So he's, you know, he's looking at TV. So he's just alert, you know, trying to figure out everything. You know, just, you know, doing what someone would do when they don't know something. You know, just looking around, observing and um one of the things that is so funny is i don't know if you guys ever seen the video when i brought the baby carrier that you like put the baby on the front of your chest and you can walk around hands free um well with that baby carrier you know when he was a little tinier um like in his newborn stages i would have a blanket over top of him you know just in case you know i'm walking from like out of the store to the car just so the wind doesn't you know hit him um but now he does not like being covered like he wants to see everything he wants to sit up look around he's laughing and talking to people like he does not want me to put this cover on top of him. He tries to take it off. Like, no, I don't, I need to see. So I just think that's like so funny because he's like, no, this is not going to work anymore. Okay. He's grabbing everything. Literally like, oh, I didn't tell y'all that he sits up on his own. I don't know if I told you guys that, but yeah, he sits up on his own now. So if you see, sit him up and there's something in front of him, he's grabbing at it and he's trying to put it in his mouth. So basically, he's grabbing everything and putting everything in his mouth if you allow him. So I can't have stuff around this kid because he's just going to grab it and he's going to put it like, look, 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 now, look. He's trying to grab my hands. So that's what he's doing. He's grabbing everything and trying to put it in his mouth. This is so funny so like remember i told you guys that his bassinet sits on the side of the bed like on the side of her bed and it's on my side so at night you know when we put him to sleep and me and set are still up and we're like i don't know watching tv or we're laughing or whatever we're doing if we're making too much noise he literally puts his head up and he's looking looking around and he's looking at us but it's so funny because his like his his eyes are like eye level with the bassinet so it looks like he's peeking at us and he's done it multiple times and we just could not stop laughing because it looks so funny that completes baby blesses four month update um this child is hilarious he's so funny um it's really just cool and interesting to watch him you know grow and start to do new things it's so funny um but yeah that's it that's what's going on with baby bliss if i didn't cover something definitely comment below and let me know like what you want to know in the next video and also if you have a question about something that i mentioned then definitely comment below and i'll be sure to answer your question and that's about it you know that wraps this video up hey you want to say bye you want to say bye you want to say bye hey stinka what, what are you doing now he's trying to grab my knees y'all look what I tell you? Eat everything. Yes, they see you trying to eat my knees. <laughs> um, that concludes. Hi. Hello. Hello. Ow! That's another thing. He likes scratching your face. And it's so crazy because I cut this man's nails. Like, But every time I cut them, they just grow back faster and longer and sharper. And he be scratching the hell out of me. Right, bless? That's what you be doing? You be scratching me? Oh, and he, okay, this is another thing I have to mention. He drools like crazy. Like, there you go with that mouth. <laughs> he drools like crazy. So, we have to keep a, um, <laughs> he is with the mouth, with the pop-up mouth. We have to keep a bib on him all day or he will soak up all of his shirts. So, yeah, we have to keep a bib around him because he just keeps drooling and drooling and drooling. And it's, it's just a lot. Like, there's been times where he's just been soaked. Like, he just took a bath. That's how wet he be. So, yeah. But that's it. 
Gassy! Can you fix your mouth? Can you at least fix your mouth to say bye? No? Hey! Hey, did I think Hey, did I think Hey, to my singer. You're just like unbothered today. You want to do other things. You're like, I don't care about this video. Goodbye.